That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Hello. So, hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you guys doing? So, waiting for the teachers to begin. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. good, good. How was your weekend? My weekend it was a little busy because I have worked from home and stay with my my wife and do some stuff at home. So that's a lot. That's a little. Are you still in San Miguel? Yes, I'm still in San Miguel t-shirt. <laughs> and it's right. raining right now. It's a big rain here. Really? Yeah. Okay. Here in Lourdes, we don't have any we haven't had any rain today and it's not raining. Uh, right now either but not yet well I, I hope it rains later because I like the rain well, rain is good I really like I really love the yeah it's rain it's good here in San Miguel rain it, the rain is really amazing so uh -huh. I'm gonna show you how is it, how is the weather here so uh, how you say inundado <laughs> flooded it's flooded, right? It's flooded. So it no se puede ver, but it's it's really flooded. <laughs> the backyard. Oh, okay. And that's inside the house. Yeah, it's inside the house. So I hope maybe uh, out in the streets are too much flooded. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, well, let's let's hope we, it doesn't get that floated. All yeah, right. I, I hope that it doesn't happen. Okay. Because I have to drive my car sometime. <laughs> All right. All right. Welcome back, everybody. It's May the 18th, 2020. It's Monday. This is our last week try not to lose any class try not to be absent we have today's class and three more so um have you sent the uh, the documents for next level yes i have sent already okay did they confirm that they received it yes all right Good. What about Eric, Lorraine, Pamela, and Nelly? I sent teacher, but they don't answer me. Okay. All right, Lorraine. What's the question? If you send the documents for the next level. Yes, I did. Okay, Pamela. Not yet, teacher. I can hear you, Pamela. I haven't sent it yet. Oh, okay. And Eric? No, teacher. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Try to send them before we finish this week. All right. So, um, do you guys remember what we spoke about uh, last Thursday? We spoke about, about quantifiers. Quantifiers. What, what are quantifiers? Quantifiers. What's, what's their function? Uh, to describe the, the quantity of something or some else. Okay. Right, they describe, they give you an idea of how much or how many we are talking about. Remember that when we use quantifiers, they give you an estimate of how much or how many we're talking about. They don't give you an exact number, but they give you an estimate, except for all. What's the opposite of all? No one. No one, exactly. So you can say all the books were on the table. So you count the books, one, two, three, four, five books. You're right, all the books were on the table. 
or you say no one uh, under 18 can vote. No one is no one. That means nobody. So no one and all are the only ones that give you an exact number. All makes reference to 100% and no one makes reference to zero, nothing. Quantifiers. Okay, um, what else did we talk about? Who remembers? Uh huh. What were the other topics? Do you take notes when we're having class? Yes. Okay, so what else did we mention? Mm -hmm. We talk about present continuous. Uh huh. What's the function of the present uh, continuous? That describe, describe, describe an action right now. Okay. And what is the other function? So if I said, um, I'm buying new shoes with this money. I'm buying new shoes with this money. Describing an action. Describing an action that is and happening now. Future. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So you you're. Whenever you're using the present continuous, is because you're using, uh, you're expressing something that is taking place right now, or you're talking about future plans future plans. So if I said, uh, we're finishing this coming Thursday, we are finishing this coming Thursday. How do you say that one in Spanish? El próximo jueves. What? What's, what? We're finishing? Aha, uh -huh, el jueves que viene. So when we say this Thursday, this Thursday, we know that it's future tense, but I'm using, we are finishing. So I'm using present continuous to talk about future events. So don't forget, present continuous has double function, things that we're doing right now or uh, plans for future. But if you wanna give it the function of uh, future, you need a time expression. Like the example that I gave you, we're finishing this coming Thursday. This coming Thursday is the time expression that we use to indicate that the action is not right now. <coughs> it's going to be in the future. Anything else? Questions or comments? No, no questions. Oh, no. all right. So we're gonna go to the first activity. I'm yeah. going to assign you so you guys can work in pairs. Let me see this here, breakout rooms. I will make three pairs. And when you get connected with your friend, you start talking about the different things you did on the weekend. So here we go.
this on this weekend? Yes. yes. Would you like to start? Yes. Um, okay. This weekend at the Friday, I went to. Eric and Claudia. Hola. Hi. Hello. Are you Hi. <laughs> practicing? Uh, so, so. Okay. But I hear you're quiet. Eric, can you hear me? Sorry. Can uh, you repeat? No, I was asking you <laughs> if you guys are practicing. No. No. <laughs> okay, you can start right no. now. Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Because I'm too active and, 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 uh, during the day. So if I sleep sometimes in the, in the afternoon, so I can't sleep at, at night. Night. Oh. Okay, but that's not my case. I, I took a nap in, in I sleep well at night. There's no problem for me. That's great. That's great because I can mm -hmm. do so. No. <laughs> so if if I if I took if I took a nap, so I really can't sleep. So I need to do something to to get um, tired and go to sleep after. So when I can sleep, maybe I sleep or I go to bed around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. So that it's really late. Yes. I got a pizza and at night I have a capacitation online. Training. Training online, okay. I have training online, and that that that's it. Okay, thank you, Lorena. Thank you, Lorena. Huh? Excuse me. No, nada. <laughs> eh. Okay. You, Nelly. <laughs> Me. Continue. I went to uh, to visit my teacher. How do you say? Barbera. Barbera. Yes. Barber. barber. To my barber and cut my, my hair on Saturday. You yeah. cannot cut by your own milk. <laughs> no. And, and she cut my hair uh, since I was, I don't know, 20. <laughs> That's great. More so than I have 50 seen, years. I, I have seen some videos on, uh, on Instagram uh, using a, a gadget that is called self cut system. And people can literally cut their hair and make some hairstyle using that gadget. Just watching. <laughs> For, no, for I'm, I'm afraid to do that. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I'm interested to to prove about to test mm -hmm. that that gadget before because it's it looks really really easy, but uh, but I don't know if it's really it's like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, ah, and I finished my my. Activities on the on the website. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday I I finished it. All you don't the, have the app on on mobile to to finish. No, that I I like the I like connecting my laptop. To me, it's oh. better than, than the cell phone. 
I prefer I prefer the the cell phone app. Mm. That it's faster. To, mm. I think the computer is more comfortable. To me, yes, yes, it is. Yeah, the, the cell phone is convenient. It's practical, but it's a. Uh, I don't know. I pre if if I'm going to be doing exercises, I would prefer um, the, computer the computer instead computer, of the phone. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But glasses is okay in, in cell phone. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I take the classes in, on the cell phone. Mm -hmm. That's maybe because I'm I'm working at at the at the computer all the time, and that is the reason maybe that I don't. Then I have to touch the, the, yeah. the, the computer yeah. when I'm not online. Right. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. If if you're using the computer all day, <laughs> when you go home, that's the last thing you want to use. Yeah. Sometimes when I have work at on 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 different school centers, so when I went to home, so I didn't want to talk to anything. So, or anyone at, at the phone, sometimes my phone is ringing and I don't answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think your friends, three, six. Uh-huh. Because I got three people that are not assigned. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to close now and let's go back to the main session. Okay. See you. Uh-huh. Hi. I know you're practicing English. Good evening. Sí. How are you? Teacher, good evening. Excuse me. Acabamos de entrar. Uh, I know. I was trying to assign you to a group, but uh, uh, <laughs> I said, let's go back to the main session better. Good evening. <laughs> that, that's epic. Good evening. All right. Um, any questions about the first exercise? No, teacher. We no. don't have any questions. All right. Um, there was one activity that we didn't finish last Thursday, and that was um, WH questions in the simple past tense. So if I tell you, I went to the beach on Saturday, what would be a, a question you would make about it? I went to the beach on Saturday. What would you ask? Did you go to the beach on Saturday? Where did you go on Saturday? Okay, where did you go on Saturday? Or, or you can say, what beach did you visit on Saturday? And I can say, oh, I went to La Libertad, I went to La Costa del Sol, different ones. I watch it on television. Huh? I watch it on television. Yeah, or, you know, it was just my dream. I just watched it on TV. That's a good option, too. Yeah. What if I tell you I bought new shoes? What will you ask? What, what did you buy? What did you buy? Where did you buy them? Where did you buy them? Where did you buy did them? You buy? Lee shoes, a dog, a payless, I don't know. Caterpillar. <laughs> Yeah, uh, caterpillar, caterpillars are cool. Okay, so uh, the exercise is very similar to, to what we're doing right now. You know, the exercise gives you a sentence or a situation and you have to make a question in the simple past using WH. Similar to what I just told you. I went to the beach and then you said, what beach did you visit? Or I said, I bought shoes. Where did you buy the new shoes? And so on. Um, are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. So let me show you the image. Ha, ha, ha. Let me see if I find it.
Okay, do you see the do you see the exercises? Yes. 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 All right. If you can take a, a screenshot, do it. If not, I will send you a, an image to the WhatsApp group. I'm going to take it on a screenshot. Okay, can you please do it? Okay, I'm gonna send to the to the group on WhatsApp. Okay. Please. Okay, I got it. Okay, so let me three and three or six other room Lorraine <laughs> move to number one here we go <laughs> For dinner, no. Uh, I think it's in past. Yes, in past. Yes, dinner. Uh huh. Where are they went? Which number are you where, doing? Where two? The number two. Okay, they ate dinner. So, what is the question? Where did they uh, eat dinner? Yes, where did they eat? Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. I saw my friends. Who did you see? Mm -hmm. Who did you see? Who did you see? Number four. The next one. Um, yes. When did uh, ring? Uh, I don't know. Run because uh, I think is when did the telephone ring? Ring. Yes, ring. When did the telephone ring? Ring. When? Because is the verb is past. It's an, it's in past, right? Where did you eat? Where did you eat? Yes. Yes. Where did Maybe. you eat your dinner? Okay. 
maybe right okay let's <laughs> let's stay on maybe so okay so i saw my trend my friend excuse me i saw my friend who do you see who do you now remember you. everything is in past everything yes. is in past okay yep. who who, who did you who did you, who did you see who did you see who did you see who did you see yes. okay how did you see? who did you see mm -hmm. uh, When did is the telephone ring? Uh -huh. When did ring? Right. Yeah. Number five. I hate come to a school by bus. The party start at three o'clock. Hmm. When I don't know. How do you say cuando empezó la fiesta in English? When did the party start? Yep. When did the party start? Uh -huh. Okay. Number eight, I saw a ghost. Yes. How do you come to school? Okay, at six, it's Mr. Brown about a new coat. What, uh, what Mr. Brown buy or what? No, what no, no. Did Mr. Brown buy? What did Mr. Brown buy? <laughs> yes, maybe the way that what, what did Mr. Brown buy? Buy, what did Mr. Buy, Brown right? buy? What Bye. did Mr. Brown buy? Bye. Okay. He he started at the three o'clock. The party the party started at the three o'clock. Yeah. Okay. When did the party start? Uh, when did the party start? When did the party start? start. Okay, the next one. I saw a uh, ghost. Where did you see it, right? Where did you see Yes. A ghost. Okay, and uh, she went home. Why did she go? One more time. Where she went home. Uh huh. Why did she went or go? Go. No, went, Why, did she go? go. Why, Why did she go? 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 Number seven. When did the party start? Number eight. Where you see a dog? Number nine. Why did she go? Mm -hmm. uh, number 10, what did he read? What did he read? Yes. Yes. All right, any questions here? No. It's difficult. No. Um, this is not that difficult. You just need to remember that uh, if you're talking about actions um, in the past tense and you want to make questions, you're going to use did all the time. Why okay. did you shower again? Why did you say that? Why did they go there? Question. If you're making WH questions, yes. So okay. if you can see, number two was where, three is who, four is when, how, what, when, where, why, and what. All of them are WH. Mm -hmm. So whenever you make WH questions that are related with actions in past, 
you have to use um, auxiliary did. Okay. Yep. Let me check on your friends right now. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Did you guys finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, and that's why you're quiet. Yes. All right, let's return to the main session. Okay. Okay, were you able to finish? Yes. Okay. One now, and a half time. Okay, so remember something very important. If you're using the simple past tense and you're going to be making questions related with actions, you will have to use auxiliary did. And the form of the verb is always base form. If you're talking about conditions, then you use was or you use were. But in the exercise we just finished, we were using um, actions. We were using did. So once again, every time you use uh, auxiliary did, the form of the verb is, always, is going to be base form. Any questions or comments about that? No, no teacher, it's clear. Okay, all right. Um, we already finished um, all the topics in the platform, so we will be doing a review. But every day I will mention, uh, we will discuss uh, a new topic for you guys, because you guys have a good level of the language and I feel confident and sure about giving you something a little bit higher. So we're gonna go to our last review, which is related with the comparative superlative forms. Um, in English, we have short adjectives and long adjectives. How many syllables are there in the short adjectives? How many syllables are there? Small, two, two. big, nice, cheap. Two, one, two, maybe. One or two. One syllable. One syllable. One syllable. Nice, I think. small, big, cheap, uh, big. All of them have one yeah, syllable. One, two, now, how do you make the comparative and superlative of short adjectives? Uh, adding... At the end of the adjective. Okay, can you give me an example? Short become shorter. Okay, and what is the superlative form, Pamela? Anybody wants to help Pamela? Shortest. 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 Now, what is the word that we use before you say shortest? We use, the uh, most. you use uh, the, the most. or the. So you say short, shorter, the shortest. The Big, the short. bigger, the biggest. The biggest. Cheap, cheaper, the cheapest. Now remember that sometimes you will say the and sometimes you will say the. What's the difference between those two? When do you use the and when do you use what? the? We use uh, the when the sound uh, that goes after the word is a, it's a vocal sound. And vowel. we use the vowel. And we yes. use the when it's uh, the sound. 
Yes. Very good. Okay, can you explain again, teacher, please? Yeah, like, like Pamela said, um, you say cheap, cheaper, the cheapest, the cheapest. Okay. Because cheap starts with letter C and C is a consonant. Now, if I say easy, easier, if I want to say the superlative form, I have to say the easiest. Because okay. easy starts with letter E, and letter E is a vowel. So you pronounce T-H-E, okay. the, when the next, uh, when the following word is a consonant. And you will say D when the next sound starts with a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. Okay. Thank yes. you, teacher. All right. So very good, Pamela. And that's how you use comparatives and superlatives. If it's a comparative, you use ER. If it's superlative, you will say D or the. It depends on the next sound. And then you will put EST. Now, what are the three exceptions for, for the explanation that Pamela just gave? Uh, the word bad, the word good, and uh, the other one, I don't know. What is the opposite of near? Far. 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 Exactly. Far. So good, bad, and near yeah. are the three exceptions. What is the comparative of good? Bad. The comparative. No, but, excuse me. This is, I think that it's better. Better. Bad is better. Is better. Bad is better. Somebody said better. So you better. say good, better. What's the superlative form? Best. 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 Okay, so that is one exception. What is the opposite of good? Okay. Bad. Bad. Good. What is bad. the comparative bad. of bad? Worse. Worse. Uh -huh. And the superlative? Worse. The, the worst. worst. The worst. Worst. Yes. So you say bad, worse, the and worst. worst. Uh, and the last one is far. What is the comparative? The comparative of far? Far. Close and closer mm, are not yeah. that. Okay. Uh, when, you use, when you say far, the comparative is farther. You still put ER at the end, but you need to put TH before you put ER. And you will do exactly the same thing when you're doing the superlative form, and you will say the farthest. Farther. The farthest. So you said uh, Santa Tecla is farther, but San Vicente is the farthest from Lourdes, from where I am. So you say Santa Tecla is farther, San Vicente is the farthest. Now, what happens with adjectives that have two syllables and finish? Uh, how do you make the comparative and superlative of adjectives that finish in two syllables, that have two syllables? We add the word more before uh -huh. the adjective. Exactly. Give me an example, please. Beautiful. Somebody more give me an expensive. example. Okay, more expensive. More expensive. How, how many syllables in expensive? Expensive. How many syllables are there? Three syllables. And if Steve. So you say more expensive, what is the superlative form? The most expensive. The most expensive. So once again, remember this. If you mention two things in one sentence, you will use uh, comparatives. If you mention three or more, you will have to use the superlative form. So you say... Um, Toyotas are more expensive than Hyundai's. But a Mercedes Benz is the most expensive. So Toyotas 
are more expensive than Hyundai's, you're mentioning only two. But if you mention Mercedes-Benz or BMW, that's number three. So you will say, but Mercedes-Benz are the most expensive. Are there any questions there? No. No? No. Okay, so let me send you um, some images that I have right here. One, two. Bobby. All right, let me. Do you see the image? Yes. yes. Okay, so I yes. send you these images to the WhatsApp chat. Um, so I just want you to uh, be on the same page as I am. What will be the comparative of nicer? Number one, okay. first group. What, what will be the answer for nice? Nice, nice here. Nicer. Nice. Nicer. Nicer. What will be the superlative form? Nicer. So nice, nicer. What is uh, the superlative form? The nicest. The nicest. Excuse me. Yes, nice, nicer, the nicest. Now let's go to the purple chart. Shorter. So we have, fill in the missing forms of the degrees of comparisons. High, what will be the answer for the second gap? Higher. Higher. Higher, higher, higher. the highest. Higher. Highest. So what is the highest point in El Salvador? Chalatenango. <laughs> yes, Chalatenango. What part of Chalate? I don't remember, but this is uh, Cerro Los Pericos, maybe. I don't know, I don't remember. Okay. El Pital. Um, Cerro. El Pital. El Pital. Pital. Uh, I think El Pital is the highest. I think El Pital is the highest. So, yeah. room four. I'm going to move Andy. I'm going to move Lorraine. And I'm going to move... Allen. All right. So here we go.
Okay. Number, Number two, Eddie. And short. Um, 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 short. Um, oh, oh, oh. Shorter. Short, uh huh. Short, shorter. Um, shorter, shorter. What is the superlative form, Luis? I mean, Eric. Uh, I know, too sure. The shortest. Short, shorter, um, shortest. Yes. Remember, when we are comparing, we put ER. But when we're using the superlative uh -huh. form, we put EST. So, once again, if it's yeah, comparing, okay. you put ER. If it's superlative, you will put EST. So, what would be number three? Um, what would be number three for young? Eric? Uh -huh. Young. Young. Uh, younger? Uh-huh. Um, younger and uh, young. Youngest. Uh, youngest. Youngest. The youngest, yes. The most oh. modern. Yes. Teacher, how about modern, number seven? Uh huh. Is more. The most. Uh, yeah, more modern, the most modern. He has two syllables. In the yes. same two, three syllabs. Two and three, they are classified uh, as long adjectives. Except if they finish with letter Y, like ugly, pretty, fancy, then you would say uglier, prettier, fancier. Happy? Happier. Okay. Only if they finish with Y. <laughs> Okay. Number eight, ladies. Popular. More popular, most modern. Most modern. Most modern. Okay. Because it's a long one. Popular. Cecilia? Okay, I'm the next uh, difficult, more difficult, and the most difficult. Yes. Creative. creative. More created, the most created. Okay. Careful, so, more careful, careful, and the most careful. Okay, bad is worst, and the worst. Worst. The worst. Worst. Uh, good. About good. Yeah. Better. Better. And superlative. Best. Best. The, the best. The best. Best. Um. Much in many. Comparative. Mm. Much, maybe more. I don't know. Fourteen. The fourteen. Little. Uh, teacher, we need. Yes, sir. We need help. Little. Yes. We need help with little. <laughs> little. Little. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, more little. The most little. Okay. Uh, more little. The most little. Yeah. Little has uh, two syllables, so it's classified as a long adjective. 
Okay. Thank you, yes. teacher. Sure. Or many, the comparative more and superlative the most. It's right? Yep. Okay. Much man, much man. Many. Many. Eh, tengo duda en esa, pero creería que es more, 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 more. Which, which number, eh, Pamela? Is number 14. 14. 14. Many. Let me check 14. Uh, many. Okay. Oh, 14 of the first part. Yes. Much yes. and many. More, the most. So you can say, my sister has much money, but my cousin has more. You can say, my sister has many books, but my uncle has more. So the comparative of much and many is, is more. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, more and the most. Okay. Is that clear? Teacher. Yes. Can, can you um, spell the comparative and superlative of far? Um, F A R. T H E R, that is the comparative form. Far, okay. farther, and then you go with the farthest. F A R T H E S T. Okay, thank you. Sure. So you guys finished the first part already. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's let's re go back to the main session. Ladies and gentlemen, um, did everybody finish the first part? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, some of you guys finished part two. Some of you guys did not. So uh, tomorrow, that's going to be our first activity. We're going to go over the answers for part two. Uh, do you have any questions or comments about today? Mm, no, no, for sure. Anybody no. else? No? no teacher. All right. So once again, thank you for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.